like I can't keep justifying these Gymshark purchases, but when they come out with colors they don't have, I'm like, maybe I can't. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As promised in one of my previous videos, once I got the new Vital launch, I said that I was going to be doing a unboxing slash my opinions. Um, so I got the new Vital, I got it in yellow and taupe, and then I think I got a pair of little shorts or something. Um, I don't know, but I wanted to do an unboxing. My package came in today, I haven't even touched it. That's self-control for you guys. Um, I haven't touched it or taken anything out of the bags. So I'm gonna be doing that on camera and then I'll have probably just film a try on like a different day, that portion. Um, but I will talk about like my first impressions just looking at the stuff and then once I try it on, I'll probably add clips of me comparing old and new vital and just kind of talking about my thoughts. Um, but I wanted to get this filmed, at least the unboxing portion now so that I could actually try the pieces on tomorrow and maybe even wear them in a workout this week so I can give you guys my like true honest opinions of how I feel, but I'm very excited. Alrighty. But before we get started, I just want to say for reference, here are my measurements somewhere on the screen. And I wear a small and all Gymshark top and bottoms, except for these little color burst ones that I got. I got an extra small because they ran big from what I've seen. My DMs are always open. I love answering questions on Instagram. So if you guys just DM me any type of question, you can be like, I'm here from YouTube or whatever. I would love to answer and help you guys out with sizing. Uh, now let's just get right into the video and the unboxing portion. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll start with this taupe moment. Um, I got the taupe, I think I got, this is the long sleeve? Yes. Okay, so first up, I got this taupe vital seamless long sleeve. I'm already feeling a bit of a difference in the material. I really like it. It doesn't feel too different, just like a little bit stretchier almost. So I love this taupe marl color. Pretty much everything about this seems the same. I feel like some of the like, contouring is different from the OG. I only have a few of the Vital Seamless crops, but I love these. I cannot wear like, I don't know how you guys wear the Adapt Camo crop tops. I think they're literally the most like compressive and hot things ever. Like I literally like overheat in them. So Vital is like pretty much the only ones that I can wear that I'm not like dying during my workout. I love these and you can throw them over like a little sports bra moment. So I'm super excited. So I got this in taupe. So here's a crop top on. I feel like there aren't really any big changes from what I've seen so far, but I do think that the taupe is really cute. So to go along with that, I think I got the shorts. I literally like have the memory of a child. I think everyone says it. They're like, I black out during Gymshark launches. Like I just forget, like I just do be forgetting. I dig at the shorts. Okay, I'm super, ah, yes. Okay, so the tapered waist, I feel like this is going to be so much better for me. I had a lot of issues with gapping in the waist of my original ones. And I'm still gonna keep the pairs I have cause it's not like terrible, but it is nice to feel like I'm gonna be super snatched in and I love the taper already. I didn't change sizes, so I st stuck with a small and I'm hoping that that's fine. I feel like it will be. I feel like a medium just wouldn't work. I feel like it'd be too much like fabric. Um, so long, first impressions. It does seem like the booty contour is super nice, nice and flattering. And then it seems like there's like a more prominent line down the butt than I like recall. I love the look of like the long sleeve of shorts. I think it's just like a whole look. Um, so yeah. So here are the taupe shorts on. As you guys can see that the waistband is super nice and compressive even when you stretch it out. Um, the only con that I would say is that I do feel like the quads do kind of dig in. Um, not that it's a big deal to me because I feel like I have this issue with any pairs of shorts. But I think that that added band um, might have added a little bit more of accentuation to that. Um, however, the band there isn't uncomfortable and it doesn't feel like my quads are suffocating. It's just that like look wise you can kind of notice it a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I feel like there's so much good to these shorts that that's like the smallest little detail and I love the contouring. I feel like it's very flattering. Um, and yeah, I don't really have any complaints there. And then here it is just with the yellow crop top. Ignore the tag on the inside. Also, I think it's really interesting that nothing from this order had um, Gymshark tags on it. So I don't know how like the return process works, but I thought that was interesting. Next up, I wanted to show you guys the throw on shorts that I got. I got them in this little crazy color. Um, I go to a school where these are kind of close to my school colors anyway. So I was kind of just like, I'll just get these. Like they're kind of cute. I love a good lounge around short. 
I don't think I'll wear these out to the gym. Maybe for like lounging, but I, oh my God, I actually really like these. So on everybody, all the athletes that have them, it did look like they were a little bit big. So I got an extra small just cause I don't want the waist crazy and I don't want them super long. And I love, oh my God, these are really cute. Okay, so these are just like flowy waist. They have a little Gymshark logo, super cute. And then you can fold them over one and it has like the little drawstrings. I love that it has drawstrings. I have these Gymshark shorts on, they're like the training shorts and they're just too big and like there's nothing I can do about it. I love when I can cinch in my waist myself. I saw Libby actually wearing these with the yellow crop top and it looked really cute. So I think that would be something that I'd maybe do. And there's even a little back pocket in the back. I didn't even know that. So that's kind of nice. Not that I'm gonna like put anything back there, but yeah, I just picked these up. I think they were only $25 or something and I just know myself. I love a good throw on short. So I thought this would be like a fun colored one. And again, it like goes with my school colors. So I thought that would be kind of perfect. So after trying these on, I can confirm that I'm a huge fan of them. And I really actually like them not even folded over since I size down. So I would recommend to size down one size and you could wear them without even having to flip the waistband. But if you wanted to, obviously they still look super cute and you can use the drawstring to make it match your waist but otherwise i really really like these and i think that the pattern is super cute fun and different for the summertime all right last but not least we got the yellow i caved and i got the leggings the shorts and the crop i didn't get the sports bra okay not on the back for that one. so first up we have the shorts again i love a tapered waist on camera it's coming out pretty yellow in person it's almost like tangerine like that's the vibe it's more orange than like it seems but yeah, I love the good tapered waistband. Um, very minimal contouring, obviously, because it's yellow, so you can't really like contour much. But that same little booty separation, I feel like that's gonna be really flattering on. I'm hoping, my biggest hope is that the legs aren't any tighter. Um, see how like this band looks like it might compress my thighs? I don't like that, I don't like that at all. So <laughs> hoping that it doesn't do that, but otherwise I think it looks super duper cute. Love yellow, yellow is just, my color sounds like I have to get it here are the shorts on I'm a huge fan and I feel like the tapered waist makes them fit better all around um, and I just really really like the way that it snatches me in I will say if you are looking to get the yellow shade just know that it is pretty see-through and you will need nude underwear <laughs> alrighty so next up we have the leggings again same color same tapered waist I'm super excited to see how the leggings fit me I love the vital seamless leggings I really like how like stretchy these feel way stretchier than the other ones i'm gonna have to do a comparison of that um but they feel a lot stretchier again just the butt separation very mini contour um and i love these i'm very excited to have these i just feel like these aren't gonna get old you know what i'm saying like i just love a good yellow piece on a nice sunny day or on a cloudy day i can light it up in there now that they've tapered the waist, I feel like there's literally nothing wrong with the Vital Seamless at all, so I think these will become a new stable legging for me. I just like that they suck you in in the waist and that the waistband is like a nice length, so it's kind of gives some tummy control, and yeah, if you squat down or anything, it's not going to gap. And then I just got the matching crop um, in a size small as well. Super nice and stretchy. I love how lightweight these are. I'm like so excited to try this. Oh, oh my god, I'm like, maybe I should try one today. Um, but I'm super excited to try this on and again super stretchy I love these and I love that they have like the little thumb holes I don't utilize them but I like that they're there here is the crop top on I find it to honestly be the exact same as the first gen upon first impression I feel like everything is going to fit well fingers crossed um, I'm really happy with the changes that they've made just like off the body I can tell so I'm super excited to try them on I'm gonna grab my the vital stuff that I do still have just to do a little bit of a comparison for you guys in case you guys haven't bought the new vital but are considering. Okay, so I wanna start off by comparing the old top to the new top. So um, one alteration, the only alteration that I really heard about for the tops was gonna be that they were gonna cinch in the bottom of the crop top more so that when you like raise your hand or something that the top didn't just like slide up, up your sports bra if that kind of makes sense because I have noticed whip the old top over time if I'm like carrying a lot if I'm doing this on like upper body day and I'm doing raises or like presses or something that it would kind of slide up not a huge deal obviously but if they have made an alteration to make it a little bit more form-fitting and comfortable then I think that that's great so in the try-on portion I'll be sure to highlight this bottom band it does seem thicker and more cinch and I will put a on top picture of the two tops just so you guys can kind of see um how they compare looks wise i have a small in both so obviously you guys will get the true comparison of the crop tops 
This, I feel like the crop tops are gonna be fine in any way. I think that they didn't really need a lot of alterations, whereas the leggings waistband needed some alterations, let me tell you. I feel like the alterations in this are so minimal and barely even noticeable, but you'll see in the try-on and when I raise my arms and stuff, there is a slight difference in how high it moves, but nothing crazy. Okay, so next I want to talk about the shorts. So I have the old Vital in the cherry chocolate. As you can see, the waistband is just not tapered at all. It's literally like so wide <laughs> and boxy, whereas the taupe, you can just see that tapering. So if I put them on top of one another, look at the difference like that ma'am so when put on top of each other that's at least an inch of a difference which is a lot so i guess if you're between sizes you might need to think about like what you prefer but for someone like me who is like not able to like i'd have to fold this over or something this is like amazing another thing that i'm noticing is that the bottom of this just does seem a little bit more tapered in i'm really nervous that that's gonna make it cut into my thighs um, and it does seem like they have this elastic though, so I feel like it could be a little bit more stretchy in that sense, whereas this doesn't really have an elastic, just a seam. Um, and it's a little bit like shorter, so I don't know. I guess I'll just have to try it on and see for it myself with the shorts. And you can see in the glutes, like if you see the contouring between the two, it's very prominent on the newer version. So in this comparison, the height of the waistband is about the same, but I show this kind of change in the elastic at the bottom, um, and that's shown here as well, and I kind of touched on this earlier that it does kind of dig into the quads, but I will say with the yellow fabric, it feels way more stretchy in the legs, and then here with the side-by-side, -side, you can see the small minimal differences in the waistband and the contouring. I think that the updated contouring, at least on the taupe, is so pretty and looks super duper flattering on the bum. Last but not least, I want to obviously talk about the leggings. Um, so I have an old vital black pair. Um, they look like this. If I really like these, I might sell these and get the new black in the more tapered ways. But here is this black pair again, just really wide and boxy, like no tapering. Whereas in the newer ones, there's a lovely little taper. The waistband also feels like a different material, a lot thicker almost. I don't know. It's pretty stretchy still, but it's a lot like thicker. I feel like it will be more compressive all around making you probably look a lot more snatched, which I'm here for, obviously. With the side-by-side, -side, you can see, again, about an inch difference, so just cutting in the sides a little bit, I think is gonna make everybody look so much better. Here is a view of the waistband stacked, so you can just see how much that the tapering does, um, and then in the try-on portion, you're gonna be able to see how much the tapering does um, on the sides, as well as in a squat test on both you can just see how that little gap goes away with the new tapering technique um so i guess i would say the main difference is just going to be the taper for me that's a big big upgrade and a big difference so in the try on portion i guess you guys will be able to see more of these changes and these differences i'll be sure to put the two clips so you guys can kind of see what's the same, what's different. Um, and I really hope that this video is helpful for you guys and that you just enjoyed the try on haul. Um, I'm really excited about all these pieces. The colors are something so different for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the support on YouTube. I have been loving this YouTube grind, this YouTube creation grind. And I'm just very grateful for all the comments and love. I literally feel like so excited to like create content on here and just to be like more myself, more casual, more chit chatty. Like I am just, absolutely loving this and so i'm very grateful for all the support in the comments all the likes all the shares on my instagram etc um you guys seriously are like the best and i'm grateful for all my insta family for coming from insta to here um and yeah so thank you guys so much just for all the love and support i hope you guys are enjoying the gymshark content i will have a lot of different kind of content coming out as well definitely want to do some women's best videos and some different videos of like smaller companies and brands because I'm here for that. I want you guys to try out all types of brands and different ranges of affordability as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Gymshark haul and I'm sure there will be another one real soon when the new Adapt comes out. So just hold your horses and be ready for that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys.